out of the way. If I look sad, it's because I'm sad. So yes, reality is I have to leave my house. I thought I'd give you one more <laughs> montage of shots on every corner of my room because I will definitely miss this. So yes, it's a little bit of a sad story to be honest. Just tell you this because if you're in the near future, see my videos again and you think like, why did he give up that beautiful home? Then, you know. Or not my choice. But we're not here to cry. We're here to make fashion. I made this kind of puff sleeved shirt, uh, one of my first videos on my channel, I guess. I don't want to cringe out, but if you want to learn how to make puff sleeves, I recommend watching that video first. I'm never wearing this, to be honest. It just makes me feel a little bit like... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm basically gonna just add eyelets and give it a little bit of a corset kind of vibe without actually having to sew a corset. If that does not sound great, well, then uh, go butter some other creator. So I start with pinning because pinning is... <sighs> you have to watch more videos of mine. Winning, of course. So I'm basically gonna pin four folds, two on the front and two in the back. À l'avant, au centre. I and now I can't really reach my back. Hello, we'll, we'll make a guesstimation. Three, two, one. So the folds are now basically where the corsets boning normally would be. And just make sure that they're wide enough so that you can put your eyelets through later. So mine were about three and a half centimeters. I'm just gonna check if I pinned it more or less symmetrically or if I have to move the pleat a little bit. And then make some markings with my chalk to make sure that they're on both sides the same. And by the way, the middle of a shirt is where the buttons are. So don't get confused with the edge of the fabric. And because we want a fusible adhesive on the inside, I'm gonna stick some pins through so that the marking will be on the inside. I know, clever 2.0. Oh my god, I think that's the most perfect version of Adele I've ever heard. So I'm getting this breast pocket off because it's gonna be a little bit in the way. Honestly, are people still using that in 2021? Keep calm and iron on interfacing. Yes, it seems to be my favorite stuff lately. And we're gonna cover the whole pleat with this interfacing. It has to be this seven centimeter wide and then the length is about 16. More or less the length of my waist. But that's because we don't want the eyelid to rip out when we're gonna put pressure on them. So, yeah, important step. Ooh. What's going on with the lights? I tell you, there's a house ghost here. Yesterday, the electricity also was cut off. And now my ring light is flashing. I'm not kidding, guys. There's something going on. Hey! I swear, my hair, it keeps growing. Oh yeah, folds. Then, ladies and gentlemen, there is two options. Option, option one. one. You're gonna sew in the folds by hand, the old-fashioned way. I'm just using a very basic, normal hand stitch. Just make sure to knot it off well. Option, option two. 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 If you have a sewing machine, you can just sew it on the sewing machine. Then you can put your lazy ass on the couch and just take a little break, because you've just saved yourself 30 minutes. I know. A tiny tad of a little bit of an intermezzo. I've been watching my intro footage back. Walking around with a hole, normally not one of my biggest concerns, but since I'm talking about upcycling every week here, and the fact that I passed the stage of young, wild, and fashionably unbothered, I might as well show you guys how I'm repairing my beloved 10-year-old tank top. Iron-on interfacing. I know, again, it's everywhere. So I need to fixate it well with hand stitches all around the hole, otherwise it will get off pretty soon, probably. And then when we add it, this lovely spiral top that, of course, I watched my video on a few weeks ago. <laughs> Oh girl, come on. Seriously? Anyway, I felt like I could use a little improvement as well, so I'm gonna add more scenes on the side. And someone was wondering how I would put on this infinity top. Here's some footage of this struggle. 
not that hard. You can see the light coming in and out of my room as if it takes ages, but I measured and it's only 94 seconds. Okay, eyelids. Finally. Oh my god. <laughs> that does not smell so well. Okay. I think I'm switching to the bigger ones. I mean, my pleat is now big enough anyway. And then I decide where about the eyelids have to come. More or less exact. No, I'm kidding. I'm just pretending to measuring it out for the camera. But to be honest, I, you guessed it. I was just guesstimating it. Uh huh. Hot hot tip. Tip. Don't keep all your different sizes of buttons and eyelids in one little box. Then you'll save yourself a bunch of time. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that chip jack. So I'm using my. <clears throat> Nail scissors to make the little holes. So you really want to watch out with cutting these holes because you can't cut them smaller later, if you know what I mean. And then now, time for the boning. Or, well, if you're in lockdown or just do not want to spend money, you can use zip ties as well. Putting a lot of effort to open the seam again and to get the zip ties in. However, for the people who do not want to do unnecessary work, you may also just stick it into one of the eyelet holes. And then I ended up doing two zip ties on each side of the pleat, so four zip ties in total. So it's gonna make it a little bit coarsely, I hope. Oh, somewhat of a hot tip as well. I'm using the holes of the first pleat to transfer it to the other pleat, and that way I save myself a bunch of time. Again. Yes, I know. I think I was born clever. Oh, da -da -da -da. Put the female on the male. I think they call it like that. Right. Male, female, non-binary. The point is you put the pretty side of the eyelet on the outside, of course. And by the way, you don't need like a big fancy press like this one. You can buy different kind of devices. You can look this up conveniently on this wonderful phenomenon called the internet. If you plan to use it more often, press was only about 35 bucks. So I wish I could do this in a really cool way. And you're just sitting next to it like this. You have a little bit more control and you see better what you're doing. Just when you're thinking... I'm on top of the world! I might have forgotten the zip ties in some places. <laughs> Let me realize that just after I finish the last eyelid. So then we still only need the laces. If you want to keep this nose so easy going, I'd recommend go around the house or go to the store to find a matching lace. For my other corset, I even use a shoelace, so it doesn't have to be super difficult always. Because I still have this rest piece of fabric anyway, I'm gonna sew a lace from that. I'm doing it a little bit strangely because there was very little fabric left. There's no need to do it like me. Hello, I'm up here. Hi. So, yeah, missed this shot in the intro. I thought I'll give it to you as an extra. Hello, this is where I sleep normally. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the result. I have to admit something. Okay, when I'm honest, this whole time I was a little bit, well, a little bit much in doubt. With these prints and everything, I was never wearing this shirt because it's not really my style. And it turned out very like cottage courage. Is that exactly my style? No, not really. I'm more of a cottage cheese kind of girl. Do I think this is a really fun hack? People who cannot sew. Yes. Was it easy? Yes. Was it quick? If you have so, probably not really. Am I still single? Stop it. Enough talking. Let's show this fashion. By the way, I also made another course that if you want, you can check it out there. Or check out the Lil Nas X denim style video, which was really cool, but not that easy.